How do you solve the energy puzzle? Nuclear? That's what I believe. Fusion? That's what I believe. Nuclear fusion? Yeah. Who's going to solve that? I think Helion's doing the best work, but I'm happy there's like a race for fusion right now. Nuclear fission, I think, is also like quite amazing. And I hope as a world we can re-embrace that. It's really sad to me what, how the history of that went and hope we get back to it in a meaningful way. So to you, part of the puzzle is nuclear fission, like nuclear reactors as we currently have them. And a lot of people are terrified because of Chernobyl and so on. Well, I think we should make new reactors. I, I, I think it's just like, it's a shame that industry kind of ground to a halt. And what, it, just mass hysteria is how you explain the halt. Yeah. I don't know if you know humans, but that's one of the dangers. That's one of the security threats for, for, for uh, nuclear fission is humans seem to be really afraid of it. And that's something we have to incorporate into the calculus of it. So we have to kind of win people over and to show how safe it is. I worry about that for AI. Mm -hmm. I think some things are going to go theatrically wrong with AI. I don't know what the percent chance is that I eventually get shot, but it's not zero. Oh, like we want to stop this. Maybe. From... How do you decrease the... Th theatrical nature of it. You know, I've already starting to, to hear rumblings because I do talk to people on the on both sides of the political spectrum, hear rumblings where it's going to be politicized. AI is going to be politicized. It really worries me because then it's like maybe the right is against AI and the left is for AI because it's going to help the people or whatever, whatever the narrative and the formulation is that really worries me. And then the theatrical nature of it can be leveraged fully how do you fight that i think it will get caught up in like left versus right wars i don't know exactly what that's going to look like but i think that's just what happens with anything of consequence unfortunately what i meant more about theatrical risks is like ai is going to have i believe tremendously more good consequences than bad ones but it is going to have bad ones and there will be some bad ones that are bad but not theatrical you know like a lot more people have died of air pollution than nuclear reactors for example but we worry most people worry more about living next to a nuclear reactor than a coal plant but something about the way we're wired is that although there's many different kinds of risks we have to confront the ones that make a good climax scene of a movie carry much more weight with us than the ones that are very bad over a long period of time, but on a slow burn. Well, that's why truth matters, and hopefully AI can help us see the truth of things, to have have balance, to understand what are the actual risks, what are the actual dangers of things in the world.